Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. So guys, Canelo says he likes the sound of being undisputed at 175. Um, he wants to be undisputed champion at 175 pounds. Uh, this is what he, he's had to say. He said he's, he, he wants to go undisputed in the in two weight classes. Uh, that would be a statement. I think there's a lot. That, I think there's a war going on with who's going to be undisputed in their second weight class next. I think there is. I think there's a war going on. And the war's going on between Alexander Usyk, Canelo Alvarez, um, and Terence Crawford. To so who's going to become undisputed in the second weight class first? Back in the day, undisputed wasn't even a big thing. Being undisputed was not even a big thing. Um, and now, uh, it seems like everybody wants to be undisputed and it's a massive thing. You go back 10 years ago, nobody nobody cared about being undisputed. Now, it's become the in thing. Everybody wants to do it. All the top fighters want to create that legacy. Um, that's why I think Fury need, needs to do it, really, because Fury's got an opportunity to do it and cement his legacy as one of the greats, greatest um, Canelo Alvarez, if he was to become undisputed at one seven five, because of the because of the great fighters that we have at one hundred seventy five in Beterbiev and Bivol, uh, I think his legacy would go through the roof. If I'm honest with you, I think his legacy would go to another level. So I think he should. Uh, I actually think he should do it as quickly as he can as well. And what I mean by that is, I think I think um, Canelo should fight Bivol and then go straight to Beterbiev. If Better Beev is going to fight Joe Smith, as soon as uh, Better Beev fights Joe Smith, I think Canelo should strike uh, while the iron's hot and go for the go for the undisputed fight with um, Better Beev and look to become undisputed. Uh, I think I think he I think he becomes I think he's got a very good chance as well. You know what? If we look at if we look at you know who's got the best chance of being undisputed, I'd have to say. Probably Crawford, but if you look at all Usyk, he'd need to fight Fury to become undisputed. Canelo needs to fight Bivol and Better Beev, which is uh, Crawford needs to fight Spence. So I'd probably go with Canelo. I think Canelo. Uh, actually, I don't know because I'd actually probably have to say Crawford because I think Canelo and Usyk have got really hard fights. Like there's a chance that Canelo could lose to one of Bivol or Better Beev, and there's a chance that. Uh, Usyk might lose to Fury because Fury's really big and really good. Um, so, for me, Crawford might have the best chance and Crawford might be able to get it done quicker as well because it looks like Spence wants that fight next. So, if Crawford can get the victory, I think I would give Crawford the slight edge in terms of who I think is going to do it first and, and who do I think is going to do it. Uh, just because of the fact that I think Canelo and, and Usyk have harder assignments. And what I mean by that, not to say Spence is, is pound for pound one of the best. And you'd say Spence is higher than Fury pound for pound. And Bivol and Baterbiev aren't higher in terms of pound for pound status. But he's got two guys that are way bigger than him. Way bigger than him. And they're very good fighters. They're very skilled. So that's going to be hard. Canelo's got two really tough opposite two really great fighters in order to overcome to become undisputed which yeah that's tough that is tough uh to become undisputed in two weight classes when you've got two guys in front of you that are really really tough like they'd be two of his best wins you know Bivol, that's how good that's how tough they are so yeah that's not going to be easy for canelo to become undisputed in in that in that weight class Likewise for Usyk, Usyk's got Fury to beat, and I, I'd have to say Usyk would be impressive because Usyk beat Joshua. If he was to beat Fury, wow, man, that guy's that guy's taken it to another level. Uh, Canelo, on the other hand, he's got Bivol and Better Be of two Russians, man, two really strong. One's a skilled boxer, the others a, a, a destroying destroyer, pressure fighter that comes and looking to destroy you. So you know, definitely, you know. Canelo's got two hard fights if he wants to become undisputed uh, in his second weight class. He's not got it easy. It shouldn't be easy, though. It shouldn't be easy. You know, being undisputed shouldn't be easy. Being undisputed should be tough. It should be It should be a challenge. It should be very difficult to do. And especially being undisputed in your second weight class is crazy. Before, 
we didn't even have like undisputed champions. Now we've got guys that are on the verge of being undisputed in their second weight class. Canelo's not on the verge, by the way, because I think Canelo is gonna Canelo ain't gonna do what he did in the 168 pound division where he's gonna beat every champion, but he's gonna beat every relevant. If he in order for him to become undisputed at 175, he's gonna have to beat every relevant champion. And every top five the, the two top main guys at light heavyweight are Bivol and Beterbiev. And Canelo's gonna have to beat both of them to to you know reach that status. So yeah, man. It's going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be very, very difficult. But it's, it's like I said, it's not without, not out of his reach because Canelo is, uh, is special. Uh, Crawford, he's going to, I hope that fight with Spence happens. And I hope Usyk fights Fury. And who knows, we may even have three, un, three guys that become undisputed in two weight class. I do think there's a possibility that one of the, you know, cop, maybe all of the three fail to do it. Because, you know, you'd have to say that Fury's the favourite against Usyk. Spence and Crawford's more 50-50-ish. Uh, and Canelo would be a slight favourite against Better Biev. Uh, and he's obviously a favourite against Bivol. But yeah, those are no those are no gimme fights. Those are tough, tough, uh, tough, tough fights. So we just have to wait and see whether... Uh, Canelo's able to able to do it, man. It's gonna be tough, man. Trust me when I say it, it's gonna be tough. Uh, the hundred and seventy five pound division isn't like the hundred and sixty eight pound division. The fighters there are much better, much much better. Them they're, they're stronger, they're bigger, they're sk more skilled. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, man. It's gonna be interesting for Canelo. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm I'm really I'm really looking forward to uh the others as well, Crawford and Usyk. Let's see whether they can become undisputed, uh, because that in terms of legacy. Wow. Imagine saying you've been undisputed in two weight classes. Bloody hell. That's some that's some legacy. You know, and, and I think Canelo, Crawford and Usyk all strike me as the type of guys that, that are driven by that. And I'm pretty sure because I believe Clarissa Shields has done it. She's undisputed in two weight classes. But obviously that's in women's boxing. Where the, where the, it's still a big thing, don't get me wrong. But where the depth of talent isn't as deep as, as the male. Um let's see who does it first man let's see who does it first i'm really intrigued i'm really intrigued who's gonna do it first crawford canelo i think crawford maybe i think crawford may do it first because well I was, when i mean do it first i mean crawford's gonna get the opportunity to do it first whether he's gonna whether he's gonna be successful against spence that's another all ball game altogether because we all know we all know that spence right now he after that performance against ugas People are hot. People think that Spence will beat Crawford. You know, I'm one of them. Uh, I initially thought that you know Spence would beat Crawford. Then I thought, uh, then I thought, you know what? I think uh, Crawford will beat him. Spence has gone through a lot, and now after that performance, I think I make Spence a favorite again. But again, all of these fights: Canelo, Baterbiev, Canelo, Bivol, uh, Usyk, Fury, Terence Crawford v Errol Spence. All of these are close fights. All of these are fights that could go either way, you know. Uh, that's why it's difficult because these guys, a lot of these guys are smaller. Like Crawford's smaller than Spence. Canelo's smaller than Bivol and Beterbiev. Usyk is smaller than Fury. So they all have they all have the same thing in common. And that's probably naturally going to be that way because they're guys moving up. They're trying to become uh, undisputed in their second weight class. So they're naturally going to be the smaller guys. Uh, and that that comes with its challenges. So you're not just fighting guys that are way bigger than you. You're fighting guys that you you you're fighting guys that are very skilled and big. So that's that that's a, that's a tough, you know, that's tough to overcome, especially for someone like Usyk, because Usyk is what six foot three, fighting a six foot nine Tyson Fury that weighs two hundred and seventy pounds. And I think Tyson Fury will probably come in heavy against Usyk. I think it, not that heavy because otherwise, if Fury's that heavy, then I think Usyk will just outbox him and potentially Fury might not get near him. So I I I, I think that's a very intriguing matchup. But Canelo Bivol is going to tell us what Canelo's like because a lot of people are not convinced by Canelo's performance at 175 and they think Canelo's going to struggle at 175. Like there's a lot of people out there that think Canelo's going to seriously struggle at 175 pounds. That's why there's a lot of people picking Bivol to win because they don't think this is Canelo's weight class and they think Canelo's maybe bitten off more than he can chew in this one. 
Uh, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Uh, let me know whether you think he does it, he doesn't do it. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.